Welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to understand solved example 8.6. This example is from chapter number 8, Motion. So the example is car accelerates uniformly. So acceleration is uniform from 18 km per hour. From 18 km per hour to 36 km per hour. So this much car is accelerating. That its speed is increasing uniformly. Because acceleration is uniform. In 5 seconds. So this acceleration happens in 5 seconds. This is the time. Now what we have to calculate? Calculate the acceleration. First acceleration we have to calculate during this acceleration. And the distance. Covered by car in that time. So during this 5 second of time how much car has travelled. So that distance we have to find out. Let us note down all the details we have. Uniformly from this to this. So this will become our initial velocity and this, should, this will become our final velocity. So initial velocity is u and that is 18 km per hour. Then it goes till 36 km per hour. So that is our final velocity. Now time frame is 5 seconds. So this all are the information what we have. Now here it is km per hour, km per hour and this unit is in the second. So either you can convert this into our or this into meter per second. But our Accelerations unit is meter per second square. So we need to convert both of this to meter per second. So first of all u that is 18. So when we are converting this kilometer to meter we are multiplying with 1000. And this hour we are converting it into second. So we have to divide with 3600. If you have any doubt regarding this then check my video based on conversion factor kilometer per hour to meter per second. That video will solve your doubt. So here let us cancel out two zeros. Here we will get 18 and here we will get 5. We have divided here with 2. So 5 divided by 18. Now this 18 and this 18 we can cancel it out. So whatever answer we got is 5 meter per second. That is initial velocity. Now V. That is final velocity is 36. So 36 multiplying with 1000. Because we are converting it into meter. And we are converting it into second. So 3600 we are multi, we are dividing with it. So 0, 0, 0, 0 we can cancel it out. Now here 36 and 36 we can cancel them out too. So answer is going to be 10 meter per second. So our final velocity here is 10 meter per second. So what is our formula to find out acceleration? So acceleration equals to V minus U divided by T. So what is our V? Our V is 10. So 10 minus 5 divided by 5. So we will get here 5 divided by 5. So answer is going to be 1 meter per second square. So this is going to be our first answer. What you have to remember here or what you have to note down here is what all information they have given and what they have asked. We have three formulas. First for acceleration, then second for the distance and the third formula is also for the distance. So there are two formulas for the distance. One formula for the acceleration. From that you can take suitable formulas and you can find out the answers. For that you have to remember the formulas. Now first answer is this. Now second answer they have asked us to find out distance. Now we have two formulas for the distance. Any one formula you can use it. If I will note down here then S equals to v square minus u square divided by 2a. So this is first formula. Then second formula is s equals to ut plus 1 half at square. So any one of the formula you can use it here and you will get the same answer. So I am going to use this formula. So s equals to v square. v is 10. So it is square 10 
10 square minus 5 square because our initial velocity is 5 and divided by 2a. So 2 into 1, 1 is our acceleration. Here we will get 100 minus 25 divided by 2. So 100 minus 25 will give us 75 divided by 2 and answer is going to be 37.5. Now how to choose unit for the distance whether it is kilometer or meter. So check here that initial velocity and final velocity. What are their units? If they are meter per second then you will get distance in meter. You will get distance in meter. If they are kilometer per hour, then this distance will be kilometer. And so this is our second answer. That it will travel this much distance while acceleration, while uniform acceleration.